So this is WDT, I'll show you how to pull it on the wheel. So if you pull the lever at the back which opens up the, the wheels which you can see in here, and that's the lever, you just pull to open. Make sure the cap's on before you go underground, and this is how you put it on. So you come in through the front of the wheel, you go to where the rod is, and you twist it upside down, and it slots in. You close that wheel, you turn it around to face the front, and actually manoeuvre this bracket into place, and then you make sure this slots into the hole here, and then you uh, go to the top, clamp, clamp the top, and there's another one underneath here, and you clamp that one, and that's the reel in place. If you need to adjust this uh, bolt, if the reel feels tight when you're moving in and out, adjust this bolt so the back of the counter is close to the uh, frame in here. And then to turn it on, you just press the button at the back once, and a green light will appear on the back. If you hold your hand here, you can see the green light. And then you release the brake. And that's the uh, counter working. When you finish, you put the brake back on. Always have somebody in control of the reel because it's stored energy and it will come out by itself. To release the uh, the bracket, it's the same as how you put it on really, is you release the uh, clamp at the bottom, you release the clamp at the top, you slide the WT down, you pull the bracket out, turn the WDT upside down again, release the clamp, slides back out and then you pull it back out the front again.